Hey, so this is uh, Ty from Running Customs. I uh, figured I'd try doing videos instead of pictures. I think it gives a better uh, better impression of what the damage is uh, that I'm fixing. Uh, so anyway, this is uh, this is a nose from a Z1000, Kawasaki Z1000. Uh, I think it's a 04, something like that. Uh, anyway, so you can see here we've got a we got a pretty big crack here. It's been uh, filled with like epoxy, so it's it's uh, been repaired, but as you can see, <laughs> epoxy doesn't do much of anything. It, it just, uh, try to get a better shot here. Yeah, uh, it's kind of useless. Um, there's a chunk missing out of, the, out of the nose here, right by the lens, and another chunk missing here. So I'm gonna try to fill those chunks in. Uh, whoever screwed in the turn signals, uh, just use, look at my dinosaur over there. Just used uh, wood screws, uh, which is retarded. <laughs> Hopefully I don't offend anybody, but it's retarded. So uh, we're going to try to pull those screws out and refill it so it's smooth and then uh, find another alternative for lights. And uh, we got a missing clip here. So you can see on this side we got a clip and this side is missing. So I'm going to try to repair that too. So this is a pretty mangled part, but uh, hopefully you can make it look half decent. It won't look perfect, but... We'll make it half decent, so I'll do an update uh, after I get some done on it. Thanks. All right, I just wanted to take a second and address a uh, what I imagine to be a, a pretty common problem. Uh, a lot of people will uh, <clears throat> get in an accident, crack their fangs, whatever, and they think, uh, oh, shit, I'll just go to the store and I'll pick up some epoxy and we'll just glue this shit back together it'll work just fine and uh, unfortunately it, it doesn't work and then by the time you get it all glued and it's all stuck on there you realize that it's not gonna work and you can't really get it off because it's glued on there without actually taking and making your fangs look like this however I just want to encourage people to uh, to not use epoxy try to figure out how to do this on your own in, in a way that that will work for you temporarily. A couple times, like something that will work, drill a hole on one side, so you drill a hole here, and you drill a hole here, and you zip tie it together. And that, that works better than epoxy. It actually holds together, it stays, it doesn't look great, but neither does epoxy. Uh, but at least you're not adding stuff that, that takes a while to like sand off and prep and fix. Like, all I had to do was sand epoxy off. I haven't even gotten into really like fixing the, the scuffs on the plastic or anything. Sorry, it's not coming into focus for whatever reason there we go but I haven't even really gotten into fixing the scuffs right but look at my pad it's just filled with that stupid epoxy stuff I can't I have to swap out I'm on my third pad now and I haven't even really burnt through much of the paint so in the future if you have an accident do not try to glue your your plastic back together just use a zip tie or take it directly to get fixed don't don't use this stuff it's no good hey so uh all right, so we got a big chunk of this plastic repaired. It's uh, it was pretty mangled. There was a lot of cracks and and like spider webs and stuff. So looks pretty beat up still. It's not very uh, not very finished at all yet. But we still maintained a pretty good shape, and hopefully we can make it look pretty close to stock. Um, whenever this happens, it it'll never look exactly perfect. I mean, you'd have to be a Michelangelo with plastic welding, but. Uh, it'll look pretty darn good when we're done. So um, next, we're going to move on to replacing this piece here. I'm going to fabricate a new piece of plastic. That's why it's on this sheet of paper, and trace it out and see if I can uh, see if I can make a new piece and weld it in. So we're going to start there, and then we got to move on to this one here and sand it all down. Probably use some filler. And all right, on. we got a uh, fabricated piece in here. It uh, went well. It's drying right now, or cooling rather, and. Um, when it's really hot, it'll still move around, so I want to let it like set up, make sure. See right here, it's at the right angle, so you can, if it melts and wiggles around, you gotta reposition it, let it cool, and, and move on. So you can see we're doing both sides um, of each. A um, little less important to be pretty on the inside, but the inside is where we fill uh, extra plastic, so uh, to to give it some sturdy uh, or some stability so it doesn't end up cracking again. So uh, once this thing cools down, I'll clean it up. We'll cut the, the rough edge off and, and smooth it out a little bit. And then I'll probably fill a little more plastic in back 
Um, we'll also add a little bit of Bondo in back too to help strengthen it after we fill it. So that's where we're at now. All right, we got it all trimmed up. Looks like we got a pretty good shape there. Let's see if I can get focus here. Looks like we got a good shape, so I'm gonna let it cool. It'll still take a lot of prep and sanding and stuff, but that spot is filled. We're gonna move on to the hardest part. It's gonna be this area here, because uh, I don't know if you can see it, but see it's not just a flat, it's not just a flat surface like the other one. It's a kind of shaped surface, so it's gonna take quite a bit of work, but I think I'll get it. Anyway, I'll uh, show you one more. All right, so <clears throat> we got that part mostly filled there. It's, um, it was really, really difficult. It took me about an hour or so to kind of shape it. Um, it seems to fit in there pretty well. Obviously, it's pretty rough right now. We'll have to go in and sand it. We'll probably have to use some Bondo and fill. And, but you can see it's, it's pretty darn close. And you can see here there's like a, there's like a really sharp kind of angle there. Looks pretty close to that side. Uh, I won't really know if it's good until I get access to the actual lights. Um, without the headlight, I can't make sure that it's perfect, but uh, at least for now, this gives me a starting point until I get access to the lights. So uh, it's pretty full. I'm gonna let it cool off. It's still kind of warm. And then uh, I'll start sanding. All right, so this is after a bit of sanding. You can see like the darker areas or the places that need to get filled a bit. Uh, we're going to fill those holes too. I'm uh, still debating on whether or not I'm going to plastic fill them or if I'm going to uh, just fill them with Bondo. That hole is kind of big. I might have to fill it with plastic. Um, but we're starting to get smoother. We're starting to get a little bit of shape here. So not too bad. There was also a crack down here we didn't know about before we started. So that got fixed. Kind of see the inside, how that looks. So no, no real need to clean up the inside too much as long as, uh, as long as it doesn't hit any parts. That's all right. I'm a little worried about the headlights still, but as soon as I get the bike over here, we'll uh, we'll try to fit it and then grind out what we need, don't need, etc. Still got to fix this tab, so I'll probably start working on that right now. All right, one last quick look. I uh, added the tab on the back here. It's not the prettiest thing in the whole world, but. Uh, I had to reinforce it on the side, so I don't know if you can see here, I added a side piece to it. Um, here's the metal fitting that goes on it. Now this part will fit back on the bike even without this tab and fitting, but you know if I'm doing it I might as well make an effort to, to make it a little stronger. Um, not entirely certain that thing will stay on there, but I did my best to, to kind of glue it in with plastics. So. Uh, hopefully it turns out. Anyway, we're going to start filling it with a uh, Bondo and sanding it down a little more. So next video or next clip should be, uh, should at least be, it'll be more pink. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be a little bit prettier. Alright, just started the uh, <clears throat> the filler. Sorry, this uh, flash is kind of bright here. So just started the filler. You can see uh, just kind of every place that needed to be sanded and smoothed over just got filled. Uh, filled the little holes from the turn signals. I'm not entirely certain that's going to work. I'll find out after I sand if it if it stays full or not. But we'll see. Uh, not a big deal if it doesn't. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, now i got to let it sit for a few hours and dry. Uh, I'm going to put it in the booth uh, with the heater on so maybe I can get it to cure faster. And then uh, sanding again in a little bit. See ya.